Hi my beautiful Pisces and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your August the 28th until the 4th of September. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. So for those of you that are new, welcome. And those of you guys that are returning, I'm so glad to have you. If you are new and you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to subscribe as that is always greatly appreciated. Those of you interested in a personal reading based on you and your person's energy, my website is in the description box below. And um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is down there as well. So I'm going to start off with your tarot and then pull you guys some oracle cards, all right? So let's see. What can I get for my beautiful Pisces? Show me what Pisces needs to see for this week ahead. What can we get for the beautiful Pisces for this week ahead? All right, the Hermit. Ten of Cups. The Empress, beautiful energy, you guys. Ace of Hazards, absolutely beautiful energy. Knight of Cups, Queen of Swords, Two of Cups, beautiful, lots of love energy here, you guys. Four of Swords. Two of Swords and Six of Hazards. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have the star, you guys. I love this energy for you. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. I have Virgo here, Libra, Taurus. Um, I am sensing here that there is some sort of break or there could be some sort of distance between you and a romantic connection. I do sense a new relationship coming for some of you. Some of you guys are going to be dealing with an ex throughout this week. Some of you could be dealing with an ex coming back um, as well as somebody that you are currently with. But I do sense there is a, a, really, um, a new relationship, a new person. You do have an admirer. This could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. There is an opportunity this week for a new relationship. Some of you, there's a new job offer for you as well. If this is a new job offer, this is going to be a job offer that is really aligned with you, aligned with your soul, aligned with yourself, aligned with where you want to go, where you are right now. This is something that's not going to feel like work. This is something that you're really going to be passionate about. You're really going to enjoy. Um, you guys are really going to be, if you're single, you're going to be really focusing on self-love. There's going to be a lot of people that are attracted to you right now. A lot of people that are noticing you, you're going to be really, really attractive. And I mean, like really attractive where it's like, there's going to, you're really going to notice like people staring at you and it's really just going to be your vibration. Like you're rate, you're at a high vibration right now. I feel like things are really going to be going well for you this week within your emotions. Emotionally, you're going to be feeling completely content, you know, with the star card, 10 of cups. It's like, these are wishes coming true. Um, you have the sense of really just cutting off the bullshit this week, cutting out anything that doesn't serve you, anyone that doesn't serve you, and really just focusing on what's good. But I do sense with this Hermit and the Four of Swords here, the Two of Swords, there's this energy of going within. Some of you are going within to seek wisdom, seek some sort of answers. Others of you are really just going to be focusing on your self-care, self-love, just focusing on yourself and really just not um, socializing as much this week. I feel like you're going to be spending a lot of time to yourself this week. It could have to do with all, you know, you could be very... Um, like, I feel like you could be somebody who really, you know, takes on people's energies really, really easily. So I feel like with this Empress energy and you're attracting a lot of people, that's a lot of energies being attracted towards you. So you may have to take a lot of time to yourself just to heal because there's going to be a lot of energies that are surrounding you here. Um, but let me pull some clarifiers for you guys. All right, let's clarify the Ten of Cups for my beautiful Pisces. The Three of Pentacles. So it looks like there's going to be a completion of fulfillment of happiness within something that you've been putting a lot of effort and energy into. For some of you, this is a house. So for some of you, this is moving in with the person that you're dealing with. Um, the person that you're in a committed relationship with, you guys could be purchasing your first home together. You could be purchasing your first home. Um, but there's something that you've invested a lot of time into and you're finally going to see the success and complete contentment. Um, let's see. Clarify the hermit.
the three of swords so there could have been some sort of heartbreak or something that made you feel really uncomfortable that you've taken some time to really get closure with taking some time you know to really just heal and really find out the truth about why you feel this way about what it is that had happened there could have been a betrayal that you had to deal with I feel like this is what caused you to, you know, take on this Queen of Swords energy. So it's like you had to take time. But I feel like this is your past energy. I'm feeling like this is the past energy or coming up to maybe like only the first two days of the week. Then you're going to be out of that Hermit energy. But really just taking time to really heal before you move forward. Knowing that when you move forward, you're really going to be moving forward. So you have to make sure you're healed so that you don't have to backtrack later on. So definitely I sense a lot of healing from previous heartbreaks and things that had affected you after this healing. It's like anything that had affected you regarding the situation or this person who had made you feel uncomfortable or betrayed you. It's like that, you know, it, it's not going to be able to touch you anymore. You're just going to be completely on your, you know, on the next level, focusing on other things. And that's just not going to come to your mind. And if there's something that reminds you of it, it's just not going to phase you anymore. You're really going to finally heal something that was, you know, a huge um concern for you so clarify the ace of hazards the princess of cups so this is a new relationship coming in this could be with the princess and then the knight right somebody that has admired you for a long time somebody from your past somebody from your childhood this is somebody that you could know but for some of you I, I feel like you don't know this person this is somebody who has seen you on social media or they could even be somebody you work with but there's somebody that has been admiring you really you know finding you very attractive and the fact that you're coming out is even more attractive this week it's like this person it's like no matter how shy they are they're gonna have to make a move so there's somebody that's coming in um to make a move and this person wants a commitment they do want a commitment this is just the beginning of one though they want something stable a stable foundation clarify the knight of cups the Ace of Cups, beautiful, all cups, all water, all emotions, all relationship, all love energy. So the Knight is coming in with that offer, like I said before, um, complete, you know, offer, offer, offer. There's, I feel like for some of you, there's more than one offer for sure, but there's one offer in particular that's going to stand out to you and it's this offer that's coming in. So yeah, definitely water sign energy, but this is them coming towards you with a message or with an offer. For some of you, this is the first day. For some of you, if you have been with this person because with the Ten of Cups here and you're moving in with them, if that's the situation, this is an engagement ring. So for some of you, this is an engagement ring. If it's not a new relationship, it's an engagement ring that's going to lead to a new start for the two of you guys. All right, clarify the Empress. Okay, the Empress with the Queen of Swords. So we have the Queen of Swords twice here. So I feel like this is you just really defending what's yours and really just, you know, you're going to lay back in that abundant energy and what's yours will be yours. But if anybody tries to mess around, you know, or if anybody's not taking you seriously, if anybody's messing with your energy kind of thing, it's like, you know, you're going to have to put your guard up. You're not, you know, you are that Empress. You are embracing that Empress energy. But if you have to, you have your sword there. All right, and clarify the Two of Cups. All right, so with the Two of Cups, we have the Eight of Cups and the Ace of Wands. So it's like walking away from the past, walking away from what no longer serves you to, towards the unknown. But the second you, you know, take a step, it's like you only have your eyes closed for two seconds because as soon as you take a step into the unknown, there's a new opportunity, this new relationship that's coming in. And it's almost like it was handed to you from the divine, right? Um, in order for you to move forward from that previous heartbreak that you had gone through, that you had gotten through. I really feel like this is your soulmate. I feel like this is your 10 of cups person that's coming into your life. This is somebody who is drawn to you. Like you are so magnetic to this person. This person truly wants to get to know you in all ways. They really want to get to know who you are, you know, what makes you, you, this person is just drawn to you and they find you very, um, magnetic, but they find you very mysterious and they also just find you very sweet and kind and they just want to know, like, they just want to, they're just so curious to know everything about you. It's like, I really feel like this person is going to be somebody that you feel like you're going to be, um, getting interviewed by them when you're on a first date with them because they're going to be so curious about you. All right. So I'm just going to clarify the star now. Let's see. Clarify the star. Oh my goodness. With seven of pentacles you guys so whatever it is that you're working on um you know especially with the healing the healing that you guys were doing um you guys are definitely going to you know the more energy that you put into it it's definitely going to be paying off this is you getting the rewards for any work that you put in here this is also saying that the healing the work that you did 
um, when you were healing yourself is paying off. It is manifesting. There is somebody out there waiting for you. This Knight of Cups is waiting for you when you are done your healing. So just focus on your healing. Focus on what's in front of you because it's waiting. And right under the star, your wish come true is the Hierophant here. And with the Hierophant, we have the Four of um the four of pentacles so this is holding on this is a committed relationship this is a commitment this is marriage for some of you guys uh but this is you know a strong strong commitment so it's like letting go of a faulty foundation you know and healing from a previous relationship that has scarred you but healing so good that when you find this you know when this new person who seems so perfect comes in it's like you're not going to be scared because you've already done the healing that you need to do and you're just going to move forward towards the ten of cups with this new person coming into your life so this is really beautiful energy for you guys. Um, so that is what I have for you. I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, feel free to subscribe. That is always greatly appreciated. My personal readings um, will be available for you guys on my website in the description below. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys soon.